created you and me for him, Jesus, not for God. No, no, that doesn't answer the question. Yes. I asked you, I asked you a very simple question, just like I asked you earlier, did Jesus come to bring peace? You went around beating the bush, at the end you concluded, said, no, he did not come to bring peace. You. No, I, no, you can look at the camera, it's a very serious. Now, now, my, now my question, now my question, <coughs> trust me, when you, when you look at this, when you look at this video, I hope you'll understand the fallacies that you have made so far. It's not fallacy. It is. When you Jesus says, understand. wait a minute. When Jesus says. Because your mind is carnal. That's the thing. You reason in things oh, that make sense. Are you saying your mind is not carnal? My mind is not, is open to spiritual things. Like what? That's God dying Jesus, by his own question? That's why Jesus is saying, the word that speak to you are spirit and life. What? That doesn't make sense. The even. word you are speaking are spirit. The word, word your spirit. Jesus, you are speaking. What? There's a word, yeah. your spirit. What do you mean, your spirit? He said to listen. He said to the. To, he, said, he, said, he said to the. He says to the Samaritan woman. Yeah? Samaritan woman said to, to to Jesus, "You are the Jew. He said to worship God. You have to go to Jerusalem." And he pointed out to the woman. He said, "You worship. Go, you worship something you don't know." For God is a spirit. Those who should worship him should worship in truth and spirit. And later on somewhere in the Bible, Jesus said, the word I speak to you are spirit and life. The word I speak to you are spirit and life. So, look, look. The word I, I really don't know where you're going with this. No, My I'm, question to you was listen, very simple. Listen, no, no, listen, Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. When I'm talking about carnal Mike, mind, Mike, Mike, listen, doesn't matter if it's carnal, carnal. You already told us not to you, use the mind. You, you already told us not to use the mind. Reasoning. Whatever kind of mind you have. Listen, you are you said, your mind. That's what I'm trying to point out. Oh, I see. The word of God. So you're telling me. Spiritual. Wait, wait. So you're telling me that because I don't have the Holy Spirit, I will not understand. You can't. Say it, say it. Exactly. So basically, basically, you're telling me, you're telling me with your spiritual mind you wait, can open Mike God. Mike let God, me speak God, God. you're saying with your spiritual mind it makes sense to you yes. that that God can die by his own creation yes. 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 I don't want such a God honestly I want you nothing to do with up. the God you're missing out. what a, a mortal you're God regret, a mortal God trust me you know why you're Christianity is going down everywhere today because of this kind of preaching of yours no, that you not. believe that people should not use their mind People should believe in a God who dies by his own creation. Man, makes sense of what you see. What? But spiritual things of God, you cannot make them. But, but, that, the but, but that's because you're delusional. No, it's not. You have deluded yourself to believe that God can die. Now, listen. When the Bible says God doesn't die, whom do I believe? The Bible the or you? Promise, the promise. Should I believe the Bible the or you? That's what I said. No, no. Mike, Mike, no, Mike, 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 very simple question. Finish. Should I believe, should I believe you or the Bible? The Bible says God doesn't die. You, Wait, you said finish. Let me chance to finish. Okay. The Bible says in 1 Timothy 6 16 that he alone is immortal. Immortal means what? Someone who does not die. Who does not die. Did Jesus die? Jesus does. Okay, so according to the Bible, Jesus cannot be God because the Bible's God says he is immortal. Now you tell me, wait, wait, wait. You claim to have the Holy Spirit. Let's see how you try to somehow make sense of this verse in the Bible where God says that he alone. Remember. The emphasis on the word alone, yes? That nobody else is immortal, only God Almighty is immortal, okay? So Jesus, according to you, died on the cross by his own creation, am I right? That makes him immortal, yes? So you got one who is immortal, who died by his own creation, and you got someone who is the God of Jesus, the Father, yes? Who never died, who is the Almighty God. So you claim that the Father is Almighty God, and you claim Jesus who died is also Almighty God, but then that contradicts the first Timothy 6.16, which says he alone is immortal, who lives in unapproachable light, whom no man hath seen or can see. You believe Je people have seen Jesus? So this verse is not talking about Jesus. I'm going to bring you back again to those who the scriptures was revealed. God spoken through, uh, through Moses. Yeah, he's spoken to Moses. He's spoken, first of all, through Abraham, where he said, he will provide his own lamb, yes? Yeah? He will provide his own lamb. He's spoken to Moses. Moses revealed about mm. the one who is to come. To the prophets, he revealed about who will come in the name of the Lord. Are you going to answer the question? No, I'm answering you. Listen to me. I'm answering Okay, what was my question? I'm answering no, I just want to make sure. 
the thing is what was my question listen. mike i just want to know can i answer yes you no, can no. but just give me this can one one simple statement Ashley, what was my question that you answered suffer a bit suffer a bit give me some time i don't like suffering no no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not a, I'm, listen, not, I'm not i'm not i'm not you should you should not panic with me because you've been debating do i look panicking at all just no. keep calm i'm very calm you calm yes yeah, no, no, you, you know say, you always be there on the bush no, no. i'm asking you a simple question which there question are you answering you mixed you are mixing up which was the mixed up is what is my question is the nature of god which does not die but within god yeah for the sake of humanity has made a promise of him providing a, a sacrifice lamb will come and he has revealed all this over centuries in the past centuries through prophets through times over and over again no he did not listen you wish he did we have all the scriptures there yeah, yeah? and then and this time, listen, them. now listen to yes. me in this time this promise came was revealed to us in the form of jesus in a physical way mortal listen yes in a mortal yes because for this purpose he was born to come and die for mankind according to god him to god righteousness that he was going to give the lamb of god who will suffer for all mankind that mankind be redeemed through him and be reconciled with god and the promise is god he has spoken to the prophet was fulfilled when uh, jesus was born you're telling me why yes. he came yes. that is not what i asked listen, you i asked you that's try to reconcile try, the immortal with the mortal listen, that's what I'm you're telling, telling me why he came that's i didn't ask you why he came i know why he came listen that's what i'm telling you the father who is in the throne yeah who is not has not been seen by any man who is eternal who is not mortal who is still on the throne who promising to send his own lamb who will be the authority his authority on earth no it's not he said the devil is the authority not him he said this kingdom is not mine the kingdom of my of this earth is not mine i'm trying to i'm not panicking i'm correcting your lies i'm correcting your lies you are moving away no i'm not bring back sense to you no 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 because you always mixed up i don't mix up listen i've showed you evidence after evidence after evidence as us christian as the jew or the jew never received jesus as being the, the savior the messiah but us we receive him as a savior the jew to this day they're still expecting that savior see he's asking this he's always talking about things that he knows no all i ask is why are you always elongate i want to, no no I no want to, you know it is like me asking I you what is your name and you tell me i live in london listen you know listen. Why does he never answer the question Because I ask you? you? Try to reconcile you God doesn't die with the God who dies. You don't make sense of our scriptures. Actually, you don't make that's any sense. Not, Forget scripture. You're getting confused. No wonder you're yourself. telling people not to use the mind. Because you're going all around. I'm telling you as a Christian. Answer the question. Yeah, I'm asking the does question. Does God die? Very simple question. Does God die? Yeah, does God die, man? You cannot, you cannot understand. He's not answering. So far, he's beating it on the bush. Listen, Ashir. Does God die, man? Don't confuse yourself. And don't stop, confuse people. Stop trying to you do. delude yourself that you believe in Jesus, who is a God, when your God clearly tells you he doesn't die. But Jesus died. Proves to me very clearly Because that Jesus cannot be God. 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 He is the one is going to send is going to come and die for us exactly a mortal so he contradicts himself he came so he contradicts he himself said, he, he says i will not die and then he comes and dies that is a clear contradiction i want you to make you sense because But you told me not to use my mind i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm your using mind mine is messed up and you're messing up a lot oh now he's a neurosurgeon you he's become a neurosurgeon now. now my mind he is messed said, up i will reveal it that no, to you show me try try to show me anywhere in the bible where it says god can die then i will say yes your malaki that we have been listen. suffering like he said yes will make sense all you have done so far you explain to me why jesus came to the earth i didn't ask you that i asked you why do you say god dies when god clearly tells you he doesn't die why are you going against the, why are you going against god i'm going to explain to you no answer this question and and look this is your last chance you've wasted enough time if you do not answer no wasting time doesn't matter doesn't matter it's my is my valuable time you're wasting i'll go and give dawa to someone else if you do not answer this question i'm walking away kushan it is too complicated for you 
Alhamdulillah for Islam. That's a problem. We got a simple religion. That's a problem. One God, one messenger, one Quran. No need for complications like the Trinity, like God dying. See, again, he's telling me not to use my mind. This guy says, not to use your mind. Please don't tell your children that. They will be very insecure if you tell them not to use your mind. Okay? Because anyone says to anyone not to use a mind, they don't know the you, power you, of the mind. You have to understand. Okay? You because that's the reason God tells you to love him with all your heart and with all your mind. Listen. Okay. Listen. Answer the question. God tells you in the Bible he doesn't die. So, You're saying your God died. Can you please, please reconcile please the two? If you do not answer this I'm in the next two minutes. Again. There is God the Father who is in throne. One God. Who one does God. not die. Okay, one God. Keep counting, guys. Listen, listen. listen carry on, carry listen. on. I'm listening, I'm listening. And there is, he is the promise of the Savior of the world. Is he God as well? We was his son. Of is the son God? Is the son God? God. So we got another God. Yeah. Carry on, carry on. He's God. So you got two gods now so far. Why is God is not the seed of man? See, he's going it's against the seed of man. God. Yeah? Is a seed. He you know what from. seed means? Listen, listen. Seed means a sperm. Let me finish. Are you trying to tell me that yes. your God has a sperm? Listen. Seriously, now the billah. Seed. Go and look it up in the Hebrew. The word seed. Maybe it's not used the word hey, seed. Hey, I don't know hey, what the Hebrew word is. Stuff. It is actually it's used for the word sperm. Listen, Ashim. The yes. word sperm. That's what I'm telling you. You're trying to reason with my mind. With your mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in the things that are tangible. Why do you think God listen, give you intellect? Listen, listen. To use it. Make use of it, man. You are making sense just like uh, the non-believers right. because they sense. can't comprehend the things of God. Which non-believers? According to you, the Muslims are non-believers. So yes, listen, I'm making sense according to the Muslims. What I'm explaining to you, the seed of Jesus, it was the Holy Spirit. Jesus is The seed was the Holy Spirit? Listen, 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 oh listen, listen, my listen, God. Listen Why didn't you call the Holy Spirit the Father then? Listen, listen. Yes? Because normally the seed belongs to the one who gave the sperm. Ashim, and he's the biological Ashim, father in the worldly let's sense. Give me time. If the Holy Spirit is the one who gave the if seed to Mary, you should be calling the Holy Spirit the Father. If you give me time, I will explain to you. Listen. I think to I gave you enough time. What I'm telling you here, yeah, the seed. He's yeah, trying to explain listen, listen. an immortal God becoming mortal. And so far he's been beating it on the bush because he knows beating. he knows rationally it doesn't make sense. So he, all he has to do is sort of question, devil's advocate type of question. Yeah, sure, sure. If this I mean is so I'm not I'm not astonished. Listen, I'm not astonished. I'm not astonished on which angle you're coming because you are you are Muslim. In Muslim you are critic of uh, the divinity of Jesus. And I understand that. But I'm trying to make you have an understanding of it, but you're still standing in that position as a critic. I'm using a Bible no, to critique no, you, man. No. What I, more I do you to, want? I have to explain to you so it may make sense. How it does it make sense to us? Because you can't make it sense. It doesn't make sense to you either. No, it does. I don't think the Trinity believe, makes sense to I anyone. Do, I do. Really? I okay, explain the Trinity to me. Let's see if it makes That's sense. That's what I was telling to you. Go on. Explain the Trinity. That's what I was telling yeah. to you. So you have one God the Father. So far you got one God the Son. Carry on. Finish what, the Trinity. What I was trying to explain to you. Yeah. You write when you say God is invisible. No one ever seen God. Lord, God is not mortal. Is eternal, and no one ever seen it. Yeah. And it's powerful. It doesn't die. Yeah. That's I agree with you. Alhamdulillah. No There's no ambiguity in that. How many gods are there? We're talking about one God. One God. Who at the time will reveal Himself? Who is the God of? Her. Uh, of Israel, yeah? God of everyone, not only Israel, God everyone. Israel. God of Abraham, God of Noah, Israel, God of Adam, God of Israel, David, everyone. God to Israel, we all the world now have benefits. No, I think the people before Israel also benefited from God, so don't tell me they didn't. There were only, only few who served the true God. Before yeah, but we, God. we prefer quality anyway, not quantity. It was, Doesn't after matter. Abraham, there was only the Jew, there was no other nation. Really? Yes. So what do you call the uh, the people who are the Ishmaelites? The Ishmaelites never have a relationship with God. Really? Far, Didn't God say in the Bible he'll make them a great nation? It's, it's, it's fair, Didn't fair, God say in the Bible? It's, it's, yes, to multiply them for the sake of Abraham. No, a great them, nation. For the sake wait, of wait, Abraham. A great no, nation. Let's go back now you tell me, why would God, go back, wait, 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 why would let's, God let's, want to multiply let's go the back. nation of Ishmael into a great nation? It's the sake of Abraham who wanted yes. a, uh, Ishmael to be the hand. The one is like the, the inheritance, but God says His covenant was with Isaac. No, no, but, no, no. Which covenant? The covenant with mankind has to come. Which covenant Isaac. was given to Abraham? Which covenant? Do you remember? What? Yes. 
the covenant that was given to Abraham was? We, we, we mean witnesses, uh, uh, circumcision. Circumcision, absolutely. Yes. In the house of Abraham, who was circumcised first? I know Ishmael was. There you go. I've lost my case. These guys always tell you the covenant was given to Isaac. Never believe that. No, that is an no, utter lie, which is actually given. Listen. Covenant yes. given no, was what? No, the covenant listen. of circumcision. No, no. And you know what Abraham no, was listen. told? This is a covenant given until the end of time. Listen, listen. You know what happened? It's not you know who covenant, was, wait you know who was, wait it's not the covenant. Do you know who was circumcised? Jesus was circumcised. Yeah, are you following in the footsteps of Jesus? Oh, yeah. every, every man is circumcised. Really? Go and ask the Christians who are not circumcised, which are the majority. Yeah, okay. so the thing is, the act of the flesh after the coming of Jesus, ah. dying on the cross, rising carry on, carry from on. the dead, yes. it's no longer a valid, a valid uh, law to be observed. And who, said, and who said that? No. Who said because it? Who said it? Tell me, tell me. No, listen. You know who said it? He's, he's, he's embarrassed to say it. No, I'm not. You know who did this? No. Who actually broke the law that was given to Abraham no. until the end of no. time? Paul. Because, of Tarsus, because, because Paul is the one Ashim, that is these Ashim, guys Ashim, actually follow, Ashim, Ashim, not Ashim, Jesus Christ. Ashim. That is the Ashim, reason Ashim, we keep Ashim, telling Ashim, them. Shout man. England is a Christian country. Have a nice day. Really? Yeah, yeah. England is a Christian country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. By the way, England is a Christian country in the sense that the Queen of England, the Queen of England, who is actually the head of the Anglican Church, which most of these Christians consider as heretic, yes, because the Anglican churches they have not only not only a uh, uh, going against everything that the Bible has uh, somehow preached about, about homosexuals, about women priests and so on, no, they will, in, the they will include everything. Now wait, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If today, if today, if today England was ruled according to the Bible, trust me, there wouldn't be this freedom of speech here. Yes, remember who was actually this killed, is, who no, killed listen, Galileo? Listen. It was the same Christians. Yes, the same Christians put him to death because of his scientific knowledge. That he told them that the earth is not the center of the world. And he was put to death because of this church, which they say is what is ruling this country. It's not the Bible, this country is not being ruled by the Bible since a long time ago Holy when they actually that, separated the listen, church listen. from the state a yeah, long time that's ago. That's something else. That's okay. something so else. anyway, this guy, so these guys who have this delusion that they actually live in a Christian country has actually looked at this country. The parliament doesn't quote the Bible verses. Yes, they have secular laws, liberal laws. And that is the reason you are allowed to have this freedom of speech today. Yes, otherwise you wouldn't. Yes, and this is why I'm telling them, if you want to call like Saudi Arabia, they call themselves a Muslim country and they have laws according to the Sharia. Yes, yes. that's why you have certain laws which might be infringing, wait, wait, which might be debate. infringing on your rights as a person who is not a Muslim. Like, for example, the non-Muslims are not allowed in Mecca and Medina. But this is that country. They say we so do not so have you, this you, you, liberal law, you secular law. No homosexual in a wait, wait, I'm, I didn't say that. Yeah. I didn't say that. So okay. I said hidden because people are afraid. Did I say if they are in the okay. open, they will be killed. If I That's said all. it, if I said That's it, you can all. say it. But now you're just straw so don't, don't Okay. Say I it. never said that. I said in the church. Have you seen in the masjids where the priests? How, how, are openly saying they're homosexuals and they love their priests. Paul, yeah, he is open, he? Was that? He, he, he declared he's a homosexual, isn't he? Who? Brother Paul, isn't he? Is he? Yes. So what's Paul? Is Paul an imam? No, he's not. I'm asking. Imam. I'm. He's a brother, your brother. You really, you really have to actually wait, wait, wait a minute. Paul never, never said that he's a homosexual. Now no, he's, he's saying he, he's, he's saying he's saying he's saying he's not the act of homosexuality which is wrong. Maybe he might have the tendencies to like men instead of women yes but that is not the act which is punishable the uh, act which is punishable no yes according to Islam the act which is punishable is the actual act of a man so and, and a man so he doesn't do it. committing sec having sexual intercourse so he doesn't do it. well why don't you ask him I don't I'm not don't I don't know about his private I'm life okay. so why don't you ask let, him? Let we, we will judge him based on what he told us okay. openly right. in public okay. that he doesn't okay. yeah we don't we don't have something called uh, thought yeah we don't have something called that you'll be punished for what you have the tendency for oh, until yeah. you act on it act on yes Same you will in fact so again i didn't cast that well islam is much more merciful than that you know in, <laughs> We'll see. Ah, who's mocking uh, now? We'll see who's mocking now? The guy who said not to mock himself is mocking. This is what I call hypocrisy. We judge ourselves because we make sure that 
America. Listen to this. Listen to the listen to the mercy of Islam. In Islam, I'll tell you how merciful it is. For example, if you are planning to sin, yeah, you're planning to say, for example, to steal something, yes, you will not be punished for that until and unless you unless you steal. And if you if you decide not to steal, Allah will not only give you a blessing for not committing that sin, but He will not punish you for thinking about that sin. Look at the mercy of Allah. In your religion, you even if you imagine such a sin, you'll be punished, right? Well, wow, whatever, whatever you want to call it, whatever, what, yeah, what, whatever you want to call it, in Christianity, your thoughts are able to be accountable for your sins. Yes? So you think something sinful and you are accountable for that. In Islam, if we imagine something and do not act upon it, we, do, we, are, not, we are not accountable. Unless we act upon that sin. But if you, if you do not commit that sin, guess what? Allah gives you a good blessing. That is the mercy of Allah. See the difference between Christianity and Islam. Another thing, you know, another thing in your religion, listen, listen, in your religion, is God able to forgive you without spilling of blood? The blood was already Wait, wait, let the lady answer. No, no, I didn't ask if it's done. I'm asking, easy, look, look, it's a, it's, a, it's a hypothetical question as far as you guys are concerned. Is God able to forgive without spilling of the blood of an innocent? That's why I say it was already done. Say it loudly, I can't hear. I, look,